Whoa, hi my YouTubers. This is just emergency little vlog. This is a damn shock. I dropped weight and I clearly was weighing 140 pounds when I went to sleep last night. So I'm kind of freaking the fuck out. What the hell happened to my fat? I did put on five pounds. Hi my YouTubers. As you can see from my previous scale, I dropped from 140 almost to 135. And it's not even the first of the month to February. It's almost the end of January and... I finally got my med card, but here's the catch. Um, they're not accepting purple cards or red cards in the state of Colorado because of a new online um, med uh, medical marijuana registry that they can actually print out your medical card. So anybody has a red card, a purple card, that's invalid. You have to go now log on to the marijuana registry in Colorado. Go get a printout of your medical marijuana card. And even though it views black and white, it's kind of like scary because there is possibilities of forgery and um, you know, identity theft with that kind of uh, lack of security going from solid card to a paper, kind of paperless with your mobile. They said you can use it on your um, your phone. So now that you have access to the online medical marijuana registry in Colorado, when you lose your medical marijuana card, then you have to just go online, log in, and just print out another one. Or you can just hold it on your phone and show it to the dispensary, and that's personal to your phone, personal to you. Still, again, I still think about the forgeries and possible scam con artists that could p copy, uh, forge the marijuana registry card, and at the bottom of the registry card that's new and printed from the website on Colorado, they literally said if anybody forges this and is not allowed under the registry to get marijuana, they will be fully sued and charged to the fullest criminal drug extent. That's what they have now for the Colorado laws on getting a medical marijuana card. So if anyone else who's in Colorado and they haven't talked about this, I'm surprised as I'm still a new channel and I've just been aware of this, but I wanted to vlog about, I did get my medical marijuana card at the Canna Health down on Alameda near Broadway. That, even though it says come before two hours to 10 a.m. when they open, be prepared to wait four hours to an hour and a half because that's how long they're short-staffed. That's how long they've got people that either walked in because they don't take appointments and they have a long, slow process because I guess they're physicians. It's not just the staff. The physicians can probably show up late because you know how doctors are. They always show up late to appointments. They're always late when you're in the appointment waiting on them. So of course, it's gonna be a long wait. If you want your medical marijuana card, they now are trying to, I guess, minimize those registry medical marijuana centers to where it's only specific doctors and not just some random person that's taking a doctor that may have an expired medical license. So they're really cracking down on the Colorado laws and the registry that's now online you know there could be some false safes but they put in the disclaimer at the bottom of every medical marijuana card printout that you are liable to be sued and fully extend to the criminal charges of drug issued charges if you are not medically licensed as a medical marijuana Colorado user so and I learned another thing besides getting my medical marijuana card on top of knowing the new laws about the online website we now have a caregiver so once you choose a caregiver and they always advertise when you make us your caregiver you have to wait like 91 days or 30 some days they're now changing what they say before you get your card when you make them their caregiver when you sign up as a medical marijuana patient and you have them as your caregiver I thought that you have from that sign on and making them your caregiver to the day you get your card would rack up enough points to where the months would be like okay so I got my medical marijuana card on this this month and it's the first of that month and then it's taking a long time for the delay of the medical marijuana registry to get the new website up to respond to everyone's paper paper that we did hard copy why does the online get more attention than the hard copies that have been waiting forever doing it the old way for the last four years and as far as I know um, <clears throat> down to the caregiver. Now once you pick the caregiver, like I was saying, they now want to say, oh, just because you make us your caregiver when you fill out the medical marijuana card and you wait for it to actually be in the registry, once you get your medical marijuana printout, because the red card and purple card are a no-no for right now in the state of Colorado. Everyone has to start over, log in, do all that stuff. So I'm sure a lot of hired uh, certified hackers are probably being hired for this positional job to watch out for scam artists and forgeries. So they told me at the caregiver um, that because I got the card, even though it's a new ID card that's not purple or red, and they clearly stated, oh my god, I have to start over for the 90 days for me to want to get um, an ounce for maybe under five bucks. Or maybe, what is it, uh, seven grams of shatter for probably I think that's at the end of the year I really think it could be the promotion at the end of the year I'm still learning their policies like I said on my channel I am new and learning about the marijuana industry their laws policies dispensaries procedures the head shops 
policies and procedures, the glass below artists, privacy as an artist, they want to get promoted, but they don't want to have their pieces mimicked. Because I understand what artists like the originality. So, just to let everyone know, that's what I have experienced trying to get my medical marijuana card. So if anybody in the state of Colorado who has a YouTube channel and they had a red card or a purple card, that shit's obsolete now. You have to go log on to the Medical Marijuana Registry of Colorado, build your own profile, and then print out a new card because no dispensary is accepting any red or purple card from now on. Sorry for the last minute mini vlog, but this was just something that kind of pet peeved me because I'm nauseous, I'm really kind of upset and after losing weight, and I put it on this vlog, how my weight has dropped from 140 pounds, and I wasn't doing anything. I had trouble eating for two days. Because of the nausea spells, trying to fight vomiting, I kept trying to put at least what I thought was five pounds of food if I could digest it. But obviously it kept coming out as diarrhea, which I call number three, because um, it's not a regular one and two movement. So in my condition right now, I'm kind of erratic, um, anxiety, and I just smoked one bowl, so I'm waiting for it to take effect. I may have to take three hits in order to get my anxiety to calm down because it's been really hard to medicate when you're broke, you have no family, you have no friends physically right when you need them to stay alive and remind you that you're still alive and we care to see you here. So not having that here every day, every morning when I wake up, especially I'll even, I'll vlog about what my daughter did on my birthday in the 10 question challenge that Dreadrate the Dream challenged me on. Um, but anyhow, um, I don't want to rag on too much because it's almost, yeah, it's almost eight to ten minutes i just wanted to make this an update for all colorado youtuber medical marijuana user patients my disabled stoners and my non-disabled stoners please be advised no longer will the purple and the red card be used at any dispensary they will only acknowledge the online medical marijuana registry black and white printout or whatever the color they choose next to be but they have it access so you can keep it on your phone pretend there's an actual smartphone here you can put it on your phone show it to the dispensary and not have to print it out if you just don't have the paper or the printer i'm really thinking about a lot of my subscribers and people out there that literally are broke they have a tight ass budget probably tighter than mine and they're in a lot of medical pain and they need marijuana now and they can't wait for their medical card to stop doing this fluctuation of oh it's this color oh it's this color now it's this whatever because of the online registry but just letting you all know love my fam fam we tuba community people i hope you get this betty crocker and i hope you get this britney smokes loner stoner or stoner loner i'm sorry i'm still learning i'm still nauseated too i'm trying not to throw up from the anxiety right now because it was just a stress just trying to get the correct information before i went to the dispensary because you know if you go with anything black or white to a dispensary they automatically assumed it's a temporary card and you don't want to argue so i called and they confirmed that the marijuana registry has let every dispensary know that by now no purple or red card is allowed because they now activated the online marijuana registry so Please like, share, please share, subscribe, and comment below if you have any other questions you want to share because I really want to hear what you have to say. Thank you, and have a good day, my Tisha Dabs YouTube followers and subscribers. Thank you. And thank you, and here's a quick image of my daughter that I will talk about in my next vlog. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I gave birth to a beautiful daughter. I just wish she respected me more. Hmm, did I forget something? Huh, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's about this Yo Body Here app. The Yo Buddy app is a new social 420 friendly to where you can talk to people, talk to dispensary doctors, find your dispensary, and find local stoners near you that are safe, that don't bait you, and they don't try to force you in anything that you're not comfortable with. Would you use the Yo Buddy app? I'll put the link below if you wanted to make your own profile and see for yourself. I can't believe we're almost close to the 100 subscriber goal. Should it be a giveaway or a raffle? What do you think? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. I hope it was helpful and spread the word.